is a super simple ballroom seashell bun. So this hairstyle is a team requirement for any junior high and high school kids. Always better to actually to do their hair when it's already kind of dirty. Don't do this on clean hair. Like day one, day two. First thing we're gonna do is part her hair. I'm gonna part her hair on the right side. She's got a really deep calyx, so we're gonna start on the right because that's where her hair parts naturally. These rat tail combs are really nice because they got the nice sharp edges that will make a really smooth part. And pull her hair down. The most important thing about ballroom hair is that you're gonna use a lot of product because you want it to be slick and smooth. I'm going to start with just a little bit of water because she's got so many flyaways on the side. I'm just going to put a little bit of water. And then I'm going to start with some gel. And it doesn't really matter what kind of gel you use. Just coat it in their hair. And you can use gel or mousse. I usually end up using a little bit of all of it. You're just going to want to just kind of coat the top of their hair. You don't need to go through the bottom of it. And then you're going to use your comb again and you're going to just pull the hair as really tight as you come down all of the shape of her head so we usually go down more rather than back you're going to kind of want to lay your comb kind of flat as you do it so that it gets all the way down to her scalp grab an elastic and we're going to get her hair into a low pony and you kind of want the pony to be just below the ears so that when the bun sits underneath, it has some place to be anchored to under here. You don't want the pony too low, because then you won't be able to put the hair, you won't be able to anchor the hair anywhere. And don't worry about if there's too many bumps in the hair, those will all come out later. We're gonna take some mousse. We're gonna put more mousse on her hair. Use a ton. Take your comb again, pull the hair down towards the elastic. And it's okay if there's bumps, like those will come out in a little bit. We just want to really work in all the mousse and gel so it's like through every layer of her hair. And we just want to really smooth it out. These little bumps right here, those are fine. They'll go away when we redo the pony. There's like little tiny lines through her hair from the little things from the comb. So I use the back of it and I push down on it and it will take away the, a lot of those little lines so it kind of smooths it all out. And again, these little bumps back here don't matter because we're gonna pull out the ponytail and redo it anyway. We're gonna use the first round of hairspray. Um, this is the got to be glued hairspray. This is like glue on your hair. It's disgusting and fantastic. So we're gonna be generous, coat it nice. And as you do it, you use the back of the comb to really push down. So no bubbles. Once you kind of have this where it looks pretty smooth, you're going to use a blow dryer so that the heat will set the mousse, the gel, and the hairspray and create like a helmet. We're just gonna let it sit here for a second and let it kind of settle for a bit. And then we're gonna pull the ponytail out and smooth it out and put a new one in. I'm gonna take the elastic out and then you're just gonna gently gather the hair back up, pull any pieces that have fallen out and gently comb through those bubbles. And just be really careful when you put in the elastic that you don't create more bumps back here. And then tighten this. I, I always use two elastics just because it will hold it really, really tight. We're just gonna use a little bit more hairspray just to kind of clean up any pieces that kind of got bumped out a little bit. We're gonna re-smooth it. 
Then we're gonna take just a small piece of her hair so we can wrap the ponytail around it. It just makes kind of a sleeker look. So I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water. She had a little bit more either gel or hairspray or mousse. Kind of coat this hair because you want it to be really kind of sleek looking. Make sure there aren't any bumps in this. So I'm just gonna comb it through. And you're gonna just wrap it around the ponytail so it's smooth and it covers all the elastic. I secure mine with a really tiny clear elastic. You only then have to wrap this around her hair once. And that will secure that elastic. Once you tighten it up, the elastic gets hidden because it gets kind of pushed up underneath. You can then go back over it with a little bit of hairspray make sure that if there's any baby hairs or any flyaways that have popped up, you can kind of push them down. So the shape of the seashell bun is gonna look something kind of like this little loopy thing. We're gonna do a little bit of back combing to get a little bit more volume in this top section of her hair. And then we're going to use some elastics to create like some bubbles down here so that it rolls up inside itself really nicely. I'm just gonna section her hair a little bit and just create some back comb, just some volume in this top section. You don't need to do it through the whole thing, just the top section. And if your daughter has really thick hair, you probably don't need to do this, um, but we just like to give, I like to give her a little bit extra volume. It helps with creating the shape of the bun a little bit better. If your daughter has really fine hair, you can put some product in it, like some hairspray as well over it to kind of help puff it up. Always do the back combing from the bottom. So as you lay it out, you can kind of comb a little bit over the top just so that this top section looks a little bit smoother. It'll help underneath the hairnet with this top section is just a little bit smoother. Now you can see that there's a lot of like body and a lot of puffiness to that section of hair. And then we're going to just kind of create some bubbles. I'm just gonna use clear elastic. And you're gonna want the first section to be, so it's gonna kind of go look like that will be the shape that we're kind of going for. So maybe five or six inches down, we're just gonna wrap this around. And I'm just gonna make sure that there's an, that it's still kind of puffy so I can help create the shape that I want. The stuff towards the bottom, it kind of just depends on how many sections you want based on how long your daughter's hair is. Her hair's pretty long, so I'm just going to section off a little bit. And the very last section, I tuck the last piece, I tuck it under so it just stays nice and secure. So then you kind of have this bubble looking ponytail down here. We're gonna use the hairnet because the hairnet keeps everything looking sleek and sharp. So you need to get a hairnet that matches the color of your daughter's hair. Her hair's pretty dark, so I have a dark brown hairnet. The hairnets have like little ends that are kind of puffy and I like to hide those. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the net and I'm gonna put it right on top of where the her ponytail is. I'm gonna hook it with a bobby pin and I'm gonna put the bobby pin right on the top so it goes right through. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this hairnet and I'm going to wrap it around the ponytail and underneath. I'm gonna take another, these are little baby bobby pins and I'm gonna take this baby bobby pin, grab both pieces and I'm gonna push it up and secure it so that the hairnet is secured on the top of the ponytail and on the bottom. That way you have, it's not open. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling the bottom of her hair. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't really matter, it's all gonna get hidden anyway, but you just kinda roll and push the hair together and then wrap the hairnet around it and then you're gonna continue rolling until you get it to where her head is. And then you just get to start pinning it with either hair pins or bobby pins. It doesn't matter as long as it stays secure. I like to use really big bobby pins to anchor this part of the bun right to the back of her head. And when you put bobby pins in, put them straight in towards the head and then angle them and then slide them. I always slide them with the bumpy side towards the head. That will anchor the whole bun toward the head. Then we're gonna start creating the shape. You can use hair pins or bobby pins. I usually end up using kind of a combination of both. They are a little bit different. I always start kind of at the bottom to help me create the shape by going straight towards her head and then pushing the bobby pin up into it. And make sure you're grabbing hair underneath so it stays anchored to her head. And I'm gonna do this a couple on this side.
All right, once you're starting to get the shape that you want, you can always kind of pull up little pieces so that creates that shape. Just always make sure you're grabbing hair from underneath so it's securing the shape of the bun to the back of our head. Feel free to use as many bobby pins as you need so that it feels nice and tight. Once you get it mostly secure, then go ahead and ask her, kind of shake her head, and then she can tell you where it feels loose. One more layer of hairspray. And down here on the nape of her neck, that's where when they get the sweatiest, the fly always get down there too. And if you wanted to, you can go over again with the blow dryer. This pretty quick version of how to do the seashell bun.